The GeoDeliberator is a web-based geospatial annotation prototype we created to support map-based discussion and deliberation. The following video will provide an overview of the system and some of the major functions. The GeoDeliberator was created at the Pennsylvania State University through the Spatial Information Laboratory at the School of Information Sciences and Technology and the GeoVista Center. This is an overview of the GeoDeliberator system. The system has five main panels. In the upper left is the user information panel. This is where the user can see the groups that they are part of or join other groups. Below that is the group panel. Once a user joins a group, they will be able to see the general information about this group, view the issues associated with the group, contribute their own annotations to the group, and manage any annotations that they have had added to the group. In the center is the map panel. This shows all the detailed map data for the group. Underneath that is the timeline panel. This shows all of the annotations in a timeline format from when they were entered. To the right is the an annotation information screen. This will show all of the information about an annotation once it is selected. Now we'll show you how to get informed about the discussion of this group. As I stated before, the general information screen is on the left hand side. This general information tab shows the baseline information of the Smoke Free Project, which includes the mission statement, as well as the major issues under the discussion. The issues tab is a list of all of the annotations. It will allow you to browse these existing issues in a chronological list. The map overview is a spatial overview of the distribution of annotations and is presented as graduated circles on the map. The number in the circle indicates the number of annotations in that area. Clicking on one of these circles will cause a pop-up window showing all of the annotations about that area. You can also query by dragging over an area, and this will select all the annotations that are in that area. At the bottom, we have a timeline. This shows the annotations in a timeline format. Here you can move it back and forth, or you can click on the timeline at the bottom to go to a different month. Now we will view one of the annotations. In this case, we are going to go to option two for the phased in smoke free zones. Here you can see under additional information, this annotation as well as the annotations that are related to it. You can also bookmark this annotation to be used in the future when you create your own annotations. Now we are going to discuss how to participate in the discussion. To do this, go to the Contribute tab. Here in the Content box, this is where you can enter the textual information for your annotation. You can also change the styles of this information. For example, you can make it bold and also make it red. You can also add references to this from other annotations. Here we are going to use one that we bookmarked earlier. You can just drag and drop into the reference section. On the right there is also a history tab. This will record your recently viewed annotations. Again, you can drag from this and drop it in your reference. For footprints, you can create a new footprint by going up to Edit, selecting the Polygon tool, and creating an area that you'd like to discuss. This adds it to the footprint. Here you can also change the name of the footprint.
as you scroll down, you can see that you can change the visibility of this annotation. You can make it visible to everyone, just the registered users, just the group members, or just to yourself. If you are proposing a new issue, you can click the checkbox next to it as a new issue. Then you click submit and your annotation will be saved. Now under the issues tab you will see the new annotation and the information shows to the right. Thank you for watching our demonstration of the GeoDeliberator system. If you would like more information, please visit the IST or GeoVista websites.